Hi, I'm Barbara. Welcome to my channel, Picky Chick. If this is your first time here, welcome. I'm a full-time seller on eBay and other platforms where I sell just about anything, but mostly I've been concentrating on fashion. And in the past year and a half, I've really been honing in on selling jewelry, which brings me to today's video. Today, I am going to open this mystery box of jewelry. It weighs a good 10 pounds. I got this on shopgoodwill.com. I am hoping to score some jewelry in this box that I can relist in my online platforms. So what's gonna happen next is I'm gonna turn the camera facing down. I'm gonna open up the box and see what we have inside. I wanna introduce you to my friend, Larry the Leprechaun. Larry is here to bring me luck, right, Larry? Yeah. But no pressure or anything, Larry, just bring me luck, but no pressure. <laughs> okay. All right, go sit over there. Okay, let's get started, shall we? Wow, look at this bag. It's really heavy. What I'm going to do is dump a bunch over here, maybe about half of it. We are starting off with this bangle, which is a plastic faceted teal color bangle. Kind of fell right out of the bag, front and center. It's a plastic bangle, and I'm gonna put it aside and put it in a craft lot. This is an interesting looking bracelet. This has square textured links, and it looks like some sort of box clasp on this. Let me see. Oh, isn't that cool? I like the way the clasp works. Let me see if I can find a maker's mark on this. I didn't find a maker's mark, but this feels quite heavy. It feels very substantial in, in quality. So sometimes you find these pieces that's so surprising not to find a jewelry mark on it, but this is definitely one to sell. All of the jewelry you see here is going in a craft lot. I'm gonna take a minute now and explain what that is. A craft lot is a group of jewelry that I won't be selling. It could be broken or it could be just fine and wearable, but maybe not worth my time because I have so much jewelry uh, to list individually. So items like this, this is perfectly fine. It's got some cute plastic beads on it. That's gonna go in a craft lot. This is a cute necklace, but it is broken. It has a strand here that came apart. So that's going in the craft lot. This is just an inexpensive little crochet choker necklace and a seed bead necklace. So when I get enough jewelry for a craft lot, my large craft lot boxes are 14 to 16 pounds, and then I'm making some smaller ones that are between five and 10 pounds. I sell them online in my eBay store and crafters love buying them to harvest the pieces and use the beads in their craft projects. If you wanna keep track of when I list my craft lots, follow me on Instagram at picky.chick and I announce to my Instagram followers when I'm about to list my craft lots on eBay. Here is a necklace on a cotton cord with a pendant. I find this pendant so intriguing. Looks like a, a person hanging off of a ring. Reminds me of a circus act or something. And I love the circular pattern all over her. It's like, woo, woo, woo. <laughs> what do you make of that? It's just as plain silver on the back, no marking on this. I'm going to keep this aside for just the pendant, I think. I like it. It's very different. Next is this card of multiple size silver tone hoop earrings. There are one, two, three, four pair. They're actually brand new. There's nothing wrong with them. But something like this I will put in the craft lot. These earrings are pretty cool. They're a brass tone teardrop shape and they're hollow in the middle and they've got wire wrapped all around. As you can see, there are some red seed beads also wrapped. I like these, they're so unusual. These I will sell. These next two pieces are going in a craft lot. This is a double strand necklace with really large plastic faceted beads, rectangular shape. That's gonna go in the craft lot. And these are wooden beads. There's nothing wrong with them. They look like they're in great shape, but I will be putting that in a wooden craft lot. Here is a single earring I found. I'm hoping to find the match. This is a very artsy earring. This is a, I guess it's a ceramic and it's fire kilned, I'm pretty sure. 
and some really pretty crystal accent beads on there a little brass wiggly wigglies on the bottom so I'll put this aside and hope that I can find the mate to it here are some pieces that all seem to be like a polymer clay type of thing this is a heart that's broken uh, has some cute little pendants on the side here's a little key and another little heart that's going in the craft lot and these little guys here are going in the craft lot that's a broken piece a single earring and a pair of earrings there these two I'm going to put aside in a pendant lot. This one is super cool, really groovy, got a 60s, 70s vibe to it. I think this necklace is awesome. This necklace is on an olive green colored cotton cord. And normally I don't like cords on necklaces. But this particular pendant, I love it. It's kind of got a matte gold tone finish, green cabochon, and these maroon gold and tan beads dangling down off of it. It's very much earth tone and kind of got a tribal boho feel to it. I like it a lot. I think it's unique and I plan on selling this. Oh boy, I have got quite a tangled mess here. It's going to take me a few minutes to get this untangled, but fortunately, through the power of video and editing, for you, it's only going to take, oh, maybe a second. Ta-da! Yep, there it is. It took me about 18 minutes, but I'm glad you didn't have to suffer through it. Some of this is going to the craft lot. Some of this I'm going to keep and sell. Let's get started and sort through this. I sorted through the jewelry from the last shot that I untangled. This is all going to go to the craft lot. These are, there's nothing wrong with a lot of this. This is wearable, but it's just really lightweight, so it's going in the craft lot. Same with this one. Completely wearable, but it's kind of a lightweight, tinny feel to it going in the craft lot. Same with a lot of this, this other stuff. Plastic beads, craft lot. Lightweight, tinny craft lot. This is a, a lightweight necklace, but it's cute. It's got a wish pendant on it. That's going in the craft lot. This has really cool leaf, leaf charms on it, but it's a broken incomplete necklace. That's going in the craft lot. This is a little pewter necklace with a charm. Looks like a soccer uh, emblem, some sort of soccer theme there. That's going in the craft lot. Plastic beads here. And this here is the only one I may take the pendant off of this and just sell the pendant or put it with another necklace this necklace um, or the chain on this necklace I should say is kind of worn out and it's not magnetic so the chain will go in the craft lot the pendant I may keep more craft lot pieces here this is a seed bead and shell necklace there's nothing wrong with it it's got some great components but not something I'm going to list and seed bead tangle I still can't get the rest of this untangled that's going in the craft lot this is a broken uh, necklace Plastic beads and plastic beads, all going in a craft lot. And here are some of those untangled pieces that I am going to sell. Let's start with this black and gold necklace. This necklace is made with multi-strand gold chain and these black faceted beads. Love the endings that they used on this. I'm not sure this could be vintage, but I'm not quite sure if it is. It's a really classic look. It's a dressy necklace and I like that. So yeah, I'll be selling this one. The other necklace is this one. It's got four strands of mother of pearl beads. They're coin shaped beads. Real pretty, very beachy. It's got a lobster clasp with an extender on it and that I am going to sell as well. This is another necklace I'm going to sell. I love the pendant on this. It's a heart shaped pendant and it's got some texture and some crosshatch with crystals in it. Real pretty, I love it. The chain itself is textured, so I love that too. I don't see a maker's mark on this. I'm still gonna sell it. I think it's gorgeous, and I believe that there'll be plenty of people who would love to have a heart pendant necklace like this. How cute is this necklace? This is an antique silver tone chain and a little ring pendant with these charms hanging off. There's a sewing thimble, a sewing machine, a pair of scissors, and a button that's made of rose quartz. 
This is just too cute and I'm definitely selling this one. And by the way, if there's anything that you're interested in purchasing from this video, drop me an email at kitsch.barbara at yahoo.com. I've got my email address on the screen right here, kitsch.barbara at yahoo.com. Now this necklace I put in my cell group because I'm actually going to take the pendant off. I think this mermaid pendant is so cute. Uh, the chain is gold, the mermaid is silver, so this chain does not belong with this pendant, but this is how it was packed in the box. And there is a little stone missing there, probably a pearl. I don't typically fix jewelry, just because I don't have time, that's all. But this one I think will be an easy fix, and I will put that on a different chain and sell it as a mermaid necklace. Isn't that cute? Here's a necklace that I think is sellable. This is a gold tone necklace with round textured links. It's a choker length necklace. It's got a small toggle clasp closure. It's a classic style necklace. I will say it's somewhat lightweight. So sometimes I go back and forth about selling or putting it in the craft lot just because of the weight of the piece sometimes. So I th think I'm going to sell it. But I might not. <laughs> I have a right to change my mind, right? <laughs> Here is a cross pendant necklace, silver tone with a gold squiggle center there. The cord is rubber. I'm going to take the magnet to it and doesn't seem to be magnetic, which means it could be precious metal. Let's see about any markings on this. I don't see any markings. So it's definitely dirty. You can see it, it needs to be cleaned up. But I'm going to test this to see if this might be sterling silver. I'll put on the screen right here the results of my test. And after I clean it up, whether or not it is sterling silver, it's such a pretty pendant. I may sell it either way. This necklace is classic and classy. This particular necklace is a gold tone link necklace. If you held it, you would be able to feel that it's a heavier chain in a good way. It's not tinny, but I'm always surprised whenever pieces like this do not have a maker's mark on it. This does not have a maker's mark, but it, it looks like it could be a Monet or Trafari piece, but there is not a mark on it. I love how the links have texture and polished components. You can see that this one has a hook closure with an extender and it's more of a choker length necklace. This may be a vintage piece. I'm not sure, but I'll tell you what, the gold luster on this, the color, it's not worn anywhere. It's almost like in brand new condition. Here's a gold tone flower brooch with faux pearl settings. It's textured on top, you can see. It is marked, it says new pro. Not familiar with new pro. It has some wear on it, so depending on the research I do, whether it's a sought after brand or style, I may or may not put that in the craft lot. This stretch bracelet has quite a vintage look to it, I think. I'm looking around and I'm seeing that all the settings are there. It's got crystals in clear, gray, and black. Really cool bracelet. I'm going to be selling this one. This just might be a vintage piece. The style of the pendant on this necklace really is reminiscent of vintage. Let me show you a different angle. See the scallop style setting of this floral cabochon? The cabochon feels like it's plastic. So I'm not sure what to make of this, if it's vintage or not. I'm not quite sure. Tell me what you think. Do you think this is a vintage piece? The chain it's on is a rope style gold tone chain. It is not magnetic. So I'm not sure what to make of this one. I have to think about this one and figure out if it's vintage or not. The next item is this pearl necklace. There are knots in between each pearl. I am rubbing the pearls together to see if it's a smooth or a gritty feel. If it's gritty, they're real. If not, they're faux. These are faux. It does have a pretty clasp. It's a hook clasp. I have a special craft lot with just pearls, and that's where I'm going to put this necklace. Most of these are bracelets. They're all going to the craft lot. This is a broken rosary. That's going to the craft lot. And then the rest are just a glass beaded, 
a couple of bangles they're pretty lightweight plastic beads this is a charm bracelet with some plastic beads some cute beads though and everything else nondescript really it's going to a craft lot i find this bracelet to be really interesting i think it's vintage it's made with these glass or crystal cabochons they're faceted and then you can see clear crystals on each link it has a fold over clasp this is a closer look at the clasp and also of the crystals and the links it's set in a gunmetal color I find it just really pretty don't see any jewelry marks on this one this is another piece that it feels like a quality piece and it's surprising not to find a jewelry mark on it but I'm going to be selling this for sure oh I'm really loving this necklace this has got a copper colored and actually it's almost like a two-tone a copper colored pendant and it's made with these dark purple plastic beads and then these floral beads are orangey brown really pretty green and brown wooden beads even the ends of the necklace have really pretty findings now the one on this side looks like it's smashed a little bit I don't know if I could reshape that maybe there is a tag on here the tag is cookie Lee something about this necklace I just really love it love all the colors love the design I will be selling this one this is another pretty necklace it's very simple very modern I could see right there it says Leah Sophia on the jewelry tag it's in great shape the pendant is silver and polished and that's marked on Leah Sophia also on the back the cord is a black suede cord and it is adjustable I am definitely going to put that in my sale pile this is a fascinating necklace here this pendant is really wild it feels very lightweight it almost feels like vinyl and it's got a stamped leaf design in there and then there's a name for that when they uh, you stamp something and then you put like a powder metallic or paint and then you wipe it off what is that somebody can help me down in the comment section help me out if you know what I'm talking about the beads are all linked together with copper wire they sort of feel plastic but again they feel a little bit different than that almost like vinyl there's a closer look at the pendant really cool very cool piece and this is the back of it I am just so curious what this material is I love this oh this is gorgeous this is a Victorian style brooch it's an antique silver tone and you can see their floral design on the frame of it and on the inside that's cut out is a teardrop pearl I love this there's a crystal setting right there I do not see a maker's mark on this which is very surprising I love that dangling teardrop pearl in the center it's so pretty the magnet is pulling on it so it's doubtful that it's sterling silver it's such a gorgeous piece I am going to put that in my cell pile this is one of those adjustable bracelets the beads feel cold to the touch so I think this is onyx this is probably carnelian on this pendant here which is curved and I am not sure the significance of some sort of script on here does anyone recognize what kind of script that might be here is a closer look at that and in case I have it upside down this is what it looks like turned around the other way it's a very cute bracelet I'm going to be selling this one I love this necklace this is a brass tone necklace with filigree it has three panels as you can see it's sort of a crescent shape and it's hanging from a chain that has an adjustable extender here the thing is I can't tell if the chain is turning let's take a closer look I do think it's sort of turning sometimes it's really hard when I'm videotaping to tell under the lights if it's the lights that's making it look like that or if it's actually turning but I think this one is fading so it's supposed to be more of a bronze tone I think it would be pretty easy to take this chain off and replace it with a different chain that would match the bronze tone really cute necklace I love this this is very pretty I need your opinion on this one guys do you think this one is unique enough to list it's got three different chains they're all gunmetal different style chains I'm going to show you a close look at these beads right here it's got these clear beads they're glass with this metal mesh covering which are pretty unique I think and then these faux pearls 
and of course the rest of the chain in gunmetal has a lobster clasp right here. There is no maker's mark on this one, but I'm thinking it could be unique enough to sell it. I'd love to hear your take on this. Let me know what you think. I am just thinking about this lot and how I don't remember ordering it. I don't remember what the description was when I ordered it. I don't even know how much I paid. So this is a true mystery box. I'm going to take this pile, try to make some matches for the earrings that might have matches, and maybe even the ones that don't have matches could be in the second part of the box that will be opened in the next video. Let's see what happens. So out of all those little pieces, uh, these are the pieces that definitely are not earrings. I want to start with this. This is a pretty cool piece right here. I wish I knew exactly what kind of ship this was. If you know, please let me know in the comment section. It's got red enamel details. It's gold tone, some silver, and it looks like this used to be a pin. See the brooch pin there? The, the actual pin is no longer. So this may be able to be turned into a brooch again or even made into a pendant, but I think this is pretty cool. So I'm gonna set this aside. As far as the rest of the pieces here, there's a really fun bright pink metal key, skeleton key there. There's a cat eye pendant in a silver tone setting, a very glittery long pendant here. That's pretty fun. Of course, a snowflake pendant, and then there's a pewter tone pendant with two cabochons in this. So these I will put in a pendant lot that I have already have started. I just went through the rest of the earrings that were pulled out of the lot. This group right here is all craft lot earrings. I'm actually going to put them in an earring craft lot. Some of them do have matches, some of them don't, but regardless of whether these had matches or not, they are turning, plastic, just not worthwhile listing. So they're all going to go in the craft lot. This is a group of earrings that I found matches for that I think could have potential for listing. I just thought these were so unique. These are ivory colors, got some sort of, not really filigree, but like open work here. And it has peach colored crystals in them. And they are dangling from these gold tone chains on a fish hook wire. So I thought those were pretty. This next pair of earrings I just thought was, were pretty. They were an antique silver or maybe even gunmetal with a purple and pink and green beads, double hoops on a ear wire that is a fish hook. This is a classic pair of gold tone hoop earrings, click top closure. And on second thought, I'm not really sure that I am gonna sell these. They may go in the earring lot actually. This pair of earrings, I just thought it had a 60s vibe to it. Very mod, love the color, the teal enamel, there are three circles on top of one another. But I'm looking closer now and I'm seeing they're either really dirty or very scratched. So if I can't get them cleaned up or shined up, I will be putting those in the craft lot as well. And it was really nice to find that I had both of these earrings. They are plastic, oval. You can see the background is black and the profile is ivory. They're really cool looking. I like them a lot and definitely can sell these. Thanks very much for coming in for this part of the unboxing, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the first half of this mystery jewelry box unboxing. We will be unboxing the other half of this mystery box in the next video. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought about this part of the box so far. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.